so in this video I wanted to show you just one example of how to use a generic feature in PCDMS. So what is a generic feature? Generic features are constructed custom features that allow you to use attributes from other features like measured X or Y values and also let you use variables and expressions. So let's take a look at a drawing here in one dimension in particular. Let's focus on the uh, 10 millimeter bore and uh, the position callout for that particular feature. So recently I was working with a programmer in a tech support case where he wasn't happy with the measured result for his bore, his diameter. Uh, he was using a portable roamer arm where the accuracy is a little less than uh, what you would get from a CMM. So he asked me if he could use a pin gauge to check the size and still use the measured um, Z and X in this case from his actual measurement of that circle. So what I suggested was that he use a generic feature and also a keyed in dimension. Um, so let's go to my PCDMIS program and I'll show you what I did. Okay so here we are in PCDMIS. You can see I have my datums ABC and I've measured the front bore as a circle called it circle one but that front bore ID, that is actually a generic feature. So the first step was I needed to actually measure the circle one first. Um, so after that, since I won't be using the measured diameter from that feature, what I did was created this key in dimension here. So you can see mine is already filled in as per the drawing, uh, nominal 10 millimeters plus 0.25 minus 0.15 and the actual is just something I keyed in when I was prompted. Um, so that's that will take care of all our measured data. So the next step is really the, um, the trick here. Um, so what I've done is created a generic feature and the beauty of a generic feature is it's a custom feature so I can enter any information I want in all of the the field. So the syntax here is nominal XYZ is first so these values here, I don't want to be a variable. I want that to be static. And I'm drawing those from circle one, theoretical X, Y, and Z. Um, in this case, Y doesn't really apply, but uh, we'll just fill it in anyway. So when we report the measured um, Y and Z, what we're doing is drawing on the measured circle values and plugging them in to this generic feature. So you can see the code there. Uh, the name of the feature, circle1.x, is the extension. So the dot x is the measured x. And then 0 for y because we're not really concerned with that. Uh, measured z, circle1.z. And for diameter, I just typed in the nominal is 10 for that hole. And now we're using the uh, actual keyed in dimension for the measured. So the the code is pin.m is the access and dot measured is the result. So the whole point of all of this was to actually dimension position using one feature only, but that feature has properties of two different uh, features. Actually one is a dimension and one is a feature. So then the rest is pretty simple. We go to position and this front bore is actually my generic feature. So you can see it there. So now that's a valid feature that I can do position on. Apply MMC. So that's where the size would come into play. And then I'll, then you just fill in the rest. Uh, plus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15. So that's important to calculate bonus. And then the datum reference frame BAC. I think it was yeah, BAC and that's it so on a report it doesn't look anything different than a normal report even though this is a generic feature it's not going to be flagged saying this is just a construction so that's it so that's how you use a generic feature one of many examples um, I just had it top of mind because I did it a couple weeks ago well I hope you found that useful thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time